G'day Attackers and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Sturm Jaeger here and today we are bringing you a subscriber replay in the form of Geogen. Uh, Geogen has his own YouTube channel and I'll be showing you some more details of that after this, uh, this replay. And he, I sent him a message after he featured on F Aging Jedi's channel and asked him to send me a replay and uh, show, show it off to you. Now, um, Jijin has sent me this replay of playing in his Conqueror, and uh, he's going to show you how you can definitely conquer your enemies in the Conqueror. Sorry, that's a very bad pun. So, what he's doing is he is f moving to a defensive position in the hills up here, um, since it is an assault map and they are defending. So, he is in one of the, one of the best tanks for this situation here since the Conqueror features very good turret armor, but also fairly average, but no, no not bad, and you will see this later, um, hull armor. Now, the gun, the gun's pretty much, uh, it's a standard 120 millimeter gun, and, uh, it's, it performs quite well, it's got very good aim time, very high penetration, um, and it's just, it's just overall decent, and it's also fairly, um, quick to reload, like, it's, as you can see by my time, it's 8.86 seconds, which is quite decent. So you can sort of pop up, take a shot, then pop down, and keep popping back up and repeat. It's just, that's that's how I would like to play that tank, and that's probably how I would play it. And that's exactly how Geogen is playing this. He's picked a very good spot where he can just take pot shots. That's his second hit of the game. Um, just took a hit from the T30, which is very unfortunate. Let's just check where that hit. So, let's check on the model. Yeah, that went straight through his um, armor there. He probably had it at an angle. T30 from where he was, probably had him at an angle from about here. So that would be where he was penetrated, which would have been fairly easy for the T30 with its amazing 155mm gun. So, as we'll continue, so we'll just talk about the gun of the Conqueror first. The 120mm L1A1 um, has AP, APCR, and HESH. Now, so the AP and APCR both have damage of 400, the HESH having 515. Now, the penetrations for AP is 159, which is quite decent. And as you can see, um, Geogen is running a majority of AP on this tank. And the APCR has 326, which is phenomenally good. Now, what is also really good, and what I and why I can actually understand him taking five Hess shells for, is the Hess shells have 120 millimeters of penetration. Now, this is a uh, British um, trait that they have really decent penetration on their high explosive rounds um, and this is quite handy especially because you will be able to reliably one shot most tier 10 artillery and also do um, if you get in the side of some tier 10 tanks you can probably do a good 500 plus damage on them which is quite important in a tier 10 battles doing a lot of damage and my word that T3 just lost half his health half his remaining health that is falling down to get that T 43 and uh, you're just gonna see this t43 absolutely embarrass this t30 and look at that there you go no we can't say the t30 was a bad player but he probably got overly ambitious um, charging down that uh, that t49 uh, t43 sorry t43 is actually a very good tank because I uh, I recently played it when trying to get to the t54 I'm almost at the t54 which is uh, I'm like I'm looking forward to, and yeah, we'll see how that goes. Uh, anyway, back to Geogen. So Geogen has uh, come down to this little um, what would you call it? a ditch, uh, dried up river bed. So he's um, again he's using the uh, strength of his tank, his good turret armor. Although he's now getting yellowed by a T29. He angles his armor accordingly, and he's rewarded with a bounce. Although he takes some damage from the ram, but he pulls back and puts a round. Arturi helps him out and puts some damage in first, allowing him to claim the kill. The IS comes out and goes, uh, nope, and backs away, but Jujin is far too um, quick on the quick on the mouse to get him away. 
very good work. And the uh, T29 uh, congratulates the artillery for getting a good shot on him. As you can see, he's going you know, to fire at this Jag Panther here. Fires one shot but misses. And then that Jag Panther is taken out by artillery. Artillery's playing a good game here. So, as you can see, Geogen is, ne is now coming up. He spots his T69, and I thought he was in for a bit of pain because you can because it could um, fairly reliably pin the Conqueror in its lower plate. However, it seems that this guy is disconnected, so I guess uh, it's a bit unfortunate for him as Jijin feasts on his lovely, delicious uh, hit points. So uh, away goes his hit points. As you can see, even the online move accuracy probably isn't too bad on this tank. Although Jijin, Geo Jin, sorry, I'm I'm saying his name way too fast. I'm getting it wrong. He is doing this uh, brilliantly by stopping and letting the gun aim in and taking out. Now the Lorraine 15551 has just hit him with uh, HE. Luckily, luckily it was uh, not a direct hit and it didn't penetrate. Otherwise, it might have taken him out. So. Jijin has uh, decided I'm going to go get that arty because that's uh, all that's left. As you can see, that AMX 1390 also wants a piece of the arty. Spots the uh, M10, uh, sorry, the M4043 first, and the AMX 1390 gets shotgunned by the Lorraine. But it's all over for the Lorraine 51. There we go, and he's all gone. So. As you can see, Geogen has got 5 kills, he's done 4,992 damage, and looks like he's only taken just two thirds of his health. So yes, and he's um, done quite well there, let's have a look at where he's bounced off those shots. Look at that, so one in the uh, turret mantlet, and sorry the gun mantlet, not turret mantlet, and he's bounced some shots off the uh, front of his armour. Very good, that's very good indeed. Anyway, we'll progress on to the post-game stats. Well, as you can see, Geogen managed to get himself a victory there with a first-class mastery, which really surprised me because with the damage he did, I believe that should have been a mastery badge, as in the ace tanker. Um, he received the bruiser, duelist, fighter, and fire for effect ribbons, and he also gained the high caliber medal for the amount of damage he did this game. Compared to the rest of the team, he was above and beyond um, what anyone else did. He got the top damage, top kills, and top XP for his team, which is uh, very good indeed. A shout out to his uh, opponents here, the um, Lorraine, the ISU, and especially this Arty here as well, since they uh, did the top, they were the top damages on the enemy team. Uh, they had some very good games. So it's a bit sad that they lost, but. At the same time, uh, Geogen won, and good work to Geogen, he worked hard for this battle. As you can see in the hard report, he fired 15 shots, 14 penetrated, and sorry, 14 hit and 13 penetrated, so that's a very good indication of how good this gun is. He got 4,992 damage all up, and 863 of that was from a distance of more than 300 meters. He received 5 hits, of only one of which penetrated. And he also received four bounces. He also received one hit due to splash damage, so that would come under this, but that would be a non penetration. He blocked all up 1850 damage with his armor. He spotted four enemy vehicles, which is uh, quite good in a heavy tank, in my opinion. And he damaged eight vehicles and killed five, which was uh, very good. He got um, 564 spotting damage, although as a heavy tank you're not really supposed to be spotting. You're supposed to be dealing the damage and taking the damage for the team. And he travelled a distance of 1.79 kilometers. Of uh, his uh, of, of the rewards he got, well he earned 69,985 credits, of which he lost around 2,007. Uh, sorry, um, 27,000. For his troubles, equally a profit of 42,412 credits. That's not bad. I think that's actually quite a decent, um, decent amount of cash. And the government really doesn't need to use um, lots of uh, 
like special ammo. I mean, it's just it's nice, but you don't need it. Um, XP. It was a times three event for him, which is very nice. So he got um, seventeen hundred seventy-three with eighty-eight free XP, and the times three he got five thousand three hundred nineteen with two hundred and sixty-seven free XP, which is a nice chunk for any uh, tanks you might want a free XP. So yes. Very good game, Geogen. I was, I certainly enjoyed watching that, and I feel that you're robbed that you did not get your Ace Tanker badge. Now we won't leave you here, guys. I just want to show you something um, about Geogen that uh, you may not have seen before. Just uh, hold on two seconds. And one of the reasons that I've uh, brought put you this replay from Geogen today is to introduce his YouTube channel. He currently has 72 subs subscribers and he's got a fair bit of content here. I would really recommend that you check it out. Um, I've been watching it and I've uh, been enjoying it. The Centurion 7 1 reliable uh, game that he's got there was actually quite entertaining. So, um, check him out, guys. Uh, subscribe if you like it and uh, yeah, definitely. Um, Definitely keep supporting him, because that's what we like uh, from us YouTube ch channels. We like our subscribers and the supporters. So, thank you for watching. Um, good luck, Jujin, and uh, hopefully we see more from you in the future, and that we um, uh, can host more of your replays if you send us some, and hopefully you can host some of mine. Anyway, I'll, I'll get I'll get you next. I'll get you back to you next time, guys. Take care. Goodbye.